probably you are driving over the road and this problem happens to you. That will be the end of the world for you because probably you're gonna be in the middle of whatever city, very far from home. But uh, today I'm going to show you what causes that problem. A excessive blow by coming from the crankcase area, which is going to be the internal component of the engine. When you remove the cap, you saw it a lot of pressure. So uh, we have this engine over here, but before I start talking about it, I'm going to share something about me. You see this jacket I have? This jacket, I own it for over 10 years. And it is not because I am proud to own this jacket. No, it is I am proud because it is um, the amount of time that I've been working on trucks like over 10 years already. So since I started working on trucks, I had this jacket when I was like, what, like 19, 20 years old. And I still wear it, it's kind of short, so you can make fun of me if you want. But uh, I am very proud of it, so I am showing that to you. And if you wonder this name, that's my name too. Uh, the letter D on my name means Daniel, so. Back in the days, they used to call me Daniel because there were so many Franciscos and uh, I was the only thing was very young at the time, so they called me Daniel. But anyway, that was just a little background so you know a little more about me. Then uh, we have the engine completely apart. So uh, we remove the head, we remove uh, the pistons, the liners and everything. I mean, the problem is obvious to me, but probably you don't uh, realize what's the problem and that's the reason why it's important to see. Especially when the engine was making that specific fault, that specific problem. So the problem on this engine was located right on the cylinder liners. And you already know the cylinder liner is a problem. Then happens to the D15 engine quite a bit and uh, eventually any D15 engine is going to get the same problem. Uh, at right now, the problem right now with rebuilding the D15 engines is then it's really hard to get the suction manifolds and the pistons. We are right now on um, 20, uh, January 2021, so uh, right now it's kind of hard to get those components. Uh, it's uh, extra information that you, you don't need to know, but I just want to add it anyway. So, um, as I say, DD15 engines get the liner problem and eventually it's going to happen. This, um, I think, has around like 700,000 miles on it and uh, it happened to it. It's a 2013 truck uh, it, and it doesn't matter the year. It could be a 2009 or it could be a 2020. The problem is going to happen. So, let's go and check the cylinder liner. We have the six cylinder liners right here. I put some light over here so you guys can see. So uh, we had the six cylinder lines over here. Um, you saw previous videos that I had then uh, engines were having problems with cylinder liners but none of those engines were having this type of problem then throwing a lot of pressure to uh, the blow uh, to the uh, cranky system uh, this one had it so probably you wonder how many cylinder liners were broken and the answer is it is just one only one cylinder liner was broken but the crack on the cylinder liner wa was very large the crack is right there you can see that see this is a super large crack and that is the area that was releasing the maximum amount of pressure then the piston was building that's why we were getting a lot of compression leak from uh, the cylinder liner to the crankcase system the other side over here it doesn't look like it has anything but it is a scratch you can see that over here is a very small um, crack over here it's very small it's almost not noticeable but you can see how scratched this cylinder is all the way down see it goes all the way down all the way see so um it, it is just this cylinder the one that causes all this um problem of course right now the solution to the problem is to replace all the, the six cylinders and um in many places many people uh they do different type of uh repairs but if you get this problem 
if one cylinder liner breaks don't just replace the cylinder liner that breaks because eventually these other cylinder liners are going to break doesn't mean that it's going to break right away as soon as you install them but it's possible in some cases doesn't happen like that but in some cases happens but if you don't want to have any more problems with cylinder liners you have to replace all the six cylinder liners and the pistons that way you are going to prevent this problem from happening again because the cylinder liner is a component that doesn't tell you anything when it's going to break it just breaks for no reason with no warning and it's not going to let you drive the truck far the reason why is because the coolant over here the cylinder liner over here has coolant so the crack happens right here where the uh, seal of the oil and the coolant is so the coolant starts dropping inside the oil and that's why you get mixtures of oil uh, and coolant in oil and when you get coolant in oil there is another problem the oil pump starts sucking coolant instead of oil and then you can uh, damage your main bearings, your cold bearings or other components and that is going to be way more expensive than this that's right it's very important if you get a broken cylinder liner just as you saw at the beginning of the video and you see that problem or you get coolant in the water i mean coolant in the oil and um, and uh and it's obvious when you have a broken cylinder don't dry the truck it's better than you tow it spend a little more money towing it because if you drive it it's going to be way more expensive to repair it this is just my advice to all of you and uh doesn't mean that you have to follow it but it is just as prevention so that way you don't spend extra money then you don't need to spend you can see this truck broke in nevada they towed all the way to california because it was too uh, risky to drive it all the way and uh, something can happen later and as you can see the cylinder liner was completely broken and eventually probably the crack is going to get all the way around and probably that is going to be way more expensive to fix so right now to fix this truck basically all we have to do is a basic overhaul replacing all the cylinder liners all the pistons all the main bearings the rod bearings the cylinder head is going to get a uh, resurface uh, no major things just uh, seats and all that uh, basically this truck is going to be spending around like fifteen thousand dollars in total with labor and parts but that is going to be way cheaper they drive in the truck with some problems then probably uh you weren't expecting because you just wanted to say something that was so loud uh but anyway um this is just the demonstration then the problem that this truck had so that way you get the idea if your dd15 engine gets the same problem then it's blowing compression to the old cap as soon as you remove it or the crankcase system the crankcase uh, of the old separator is throwing a lot of coolant too or you saw that part is completely wet with oil if that is the case with your dd15 engine you have to be sure to stop the truck tow it to the nearest repair shop or to the nearest city where you're gonna go and repair it's very possible then your cylinder liners are cracked and as soon as you remove the cap the old cap and you have water i think this one has water already yeah right here this one has water you can see the water marks over there it looks kind of brown those are water marks if you get this mark or a little more than that that means then you have a broken cylinder line to repair that problem you need to do an overhaul and after that you you can drive the truck normally but just be sure to don't do that mistake then don't pay attention when this problem happens because later it's going to be way more expensive to fix it it's my advice you don't want to follow don't follow it if you want to follow it it's going to save you a lot of money
questions, you can use the comment section below. You can leave all the questions. If you have any experiences about this problem, you can do it too. Because it could be very um, helpful for all of us to learn more things than probably something happened to you with the thing. No. Also, if you want to contact me directly, go to Instagram. Look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. You can ask me anything directly. Just be patient and have the specific question that you have for me with the specific cuts or the specific pictures. That way I can get to it fast. And, you know, it's easier for me because sometimes I have to ask you too many questions before getting to the real answers that you're looking for. If you want to send support to the channel, just check the description of the video. I have details how to send support to the channel continue on doing videos like this if you help but subscribing to the channel is more than enough if you want to do any help liking the video and thank you for watching